hello guys. Uh, it's the final chapter of this uh, retro karting uh, restoring. So we have only left the soda blowing of the engine. So the cylinder must be soda blowed because uh, I couldn't get all the red paint rid of it. So uh, brake pads will be done from the Opel Agila brake pads and uh, modding these uh, Opel Ag Agila brake pads for this this cart and uh, soda blowing the engine and uh, fixing the engine up so also assembling the brake pads and uh, engine but let's do it and let's continue like this so here is those Opel Agila brake pads so uh, we have now when I have drilled these holes through the bad old bad so I'm just doing like this and marking marking the new bait brake pads for the drilling the hole and putting those screw edges there so we can screw the and put the brake pads to the saddle Okay, let's get the silver, silver marker, silver marker, I suppose this will fit into the hole. Let's get like this, will it fit? No, it can't do it like this. Let's mark those with this long headed pencil, metal pencil. Okay, firstly I have to drill those uh, old brake pads, those uh, holes where the screws are. Drill the holes through so I can mark the new pads, so let's, let's get to it. Like this. This is only for the modeling the new pads for the these holes where the holes are and Okay, well finally they are there so I drill at the holes and using this old brake pad as reference for the holes and now my friends will Friend will uh, put some bigger hole there and uh, make the screw edges there so I can screw these brake pads onto the saddle. So, And then this one needs some soda blowing which I couldn't get rid of with the paint remover. So also this needs some soda blowing and head, uh, head, of, the ma head of the engine is painted and looking beautiful. And next chapter is to go to my friend's place and uh, use some soda blower and uh, my friend will help me, uh, help me with those brake pads. Let's do it. So here we are heading to my friend's place to fix those brake pads and cylinder blowing. So soda blowing, some, some soda blowing for cylinder and uh, fixing those brake pads. And, uh, Let's get to it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the brake pads are now holes in right place and places for the screws and as you can see comparing to the original brake pad it looks pretty much same. Then the cylinder is also soda blowed so and also assembled the cylinder on and piston is moving freely. And just let put this uh, motor head on just a second so you can see how beautiful this will be. So there is PCR Testaros. 
Okay, so the engine is fitted, exhaust is fitted, brakes are okay, so it's braking, chains are on. So I'm using some this Hulomar gasket grease for just doing the little bit moisture in the gasket, so I'm fitting this in here and spreading with my finger like this in both sides of course because other one is touching the engine and other one is touching the carburetor little layer tiny layer with hulomar and let's see does it hold the shocks and what comes from the engine. This is quite, uh, quite sticky stuff, this Hulomar. Hulomar is the name of the this grease. Hulomar. Okay, let's that air air hole needs need, needs to be very very sensitive that uh, it won't stuck into the air hole so let's put it there like that and now onto the assembly of the carburetor a little bit changing the camera camera angle this is one piece of can I say straight piece of S this adding this carburetor in here these bolts are dif difficult to add well there is it there it is so it's fixed to the engine so the hulomar is now middle of the carburetor and engine and uh, now we are going to the to the exhaust brings Okay, let's put those exhaust springs on and uh, I'll probably do a little bit squeeze them, not straight, but a little bit like that. Uh, this one goes to would be like there. Let's cut that too much of the edge there. Now like that, let's put it, this one in here, in here, in here, like that, yeah, and lastly, into, would it be like that in there, no, that is too, 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 do less. Would it like that? Okay. That is good. That is good. Well, folks, uh, after two and a half months, I can finally say that uh, this karting 1987 Kalikart go kart is ready. So it's missing only petrol hose, but it's it's not a big problem, so it's it's ready, and how fabulous it looks! So you can see, it's like a new car. It's going to the one Finnish uh, man who fills up the years, and he has driven in 1980s these go karts, and he has been uh, owning this kind of Kali kart. And what is nice, uh, this engine is his old engine from the 1980s. That's why this car is going for him, because this came with that motor. So it is ready and it's, it's fabulous, even I say myself. It's fabulous. It's looking like new car and uh, hopefully the new owner keeps it nice and steady. Uh, I, I expect that he will put it on the wall 
and hook, hook it on the wall. So only left the final words. So the end has come with this motor two and a half months. We have uh, done this old Kali card, go card, so costs are a few hundreds. And uh, of course, I got this car totally free from my friend and uh, who also loves what I do. So not bragging and uh, stuff like that, but mainly I can do something what I love. And uh, this is just like job what I like uh, to see uh, what you are doing and what you are achieving. So like those helmets, uh, James Hunt and these ones, and these are just like uh, things what I do love to do. So let's uh, try to figure out uh, what shall we do for the next video. But uh, mainly this uh, first YouTube project uh, videos uh, there's three parts of uh, restoring this card so it's not any exclusive YouTube video but I just tried I know that uh, I, sh I should do more editing and stuff like that but if you are lazy you are lazy but thanks for joining and see you in next video bye bye